Howdy, what's going on? Welcome to the news for AQ. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's start off the news with something a little bit older. It's not really news, but I forgot to put in any video, any of the news videos on this channel, so I thought I'd quickly put it here if you only get your news from my channel uh, for whatever reason. So they had a breakthrough with the AQ Mobile where they can now do color customization. So they're having challenges with uh, and through a combination of the Flash, Photoshop Droplets, and uh, Unity Shader Compositing, they can now do color customization for AQ Mobile. That was something that they were having trouble with for quite a while. If you've been following the journey, or at least what they've been posting about on Twitter, that's been an issue for a while, and they have seemed to have solved it. So we're getting ever so closer, closer to AQ Mobile, but still, don't hold your breath on that. Let's move on to more news. For some reason, every time I see Lilo and Stitch, I forget I watched a bunch of that when I was a kid and it like pops to my mind as like a, whoa, I, I watched that. It's like never something that I remember that I watched for some, I don't know, my brain's weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, of course, the Disney show. And uh, that would actually make for a cool kind of parody Moglin. So good idea there from Tiny. Since April 2019, Lay and his friends were coming up with ideas for a big story for the Hollowborn lore. Uh, this is about part one of our story, the Neo Inquisition. So, yeah, looks like there's going to be a bit of backstory stuff for Hollowborn coming up. And if you like big, bulky metal armors, it looks like that was part of the lore for Hollowborn. I really like when they take an old monster design or something like that and turn it into a new item whether it's an armor or a weapon or whatever, what have you. Uh, it's really cool to see. So Lei made a like a rough concept here and then Snowvers cleaned it up a bit, made it more into a cleaner object there. So yeah, that's a good idea from both of them and uh, well executed, I like it. Nice little swimsuit, some summer stuff. Also an update on this really good looking female uh, chaos outfit. Very well done, can't wait to see the finished up version of that. Not sure what's for though, I don't know if they're doing more chaos stuff in the future, but yeah, we'll have to see. This is a really cool design, it's kind of like a designer swimsuit sort of thing. The tube is cool, I don't, is it like transparent? That's, that's pretty cool actually. Glasses are sick, the uh, the bubblegum. If that was actually an animated thing, like a, it's just like played on a loop, pretty long loop, would be nice. And I like a pretty long animation loop where you like you blow it up and then it like kind of sits there, and pops and then you wait a little bit and it goes again like probably like a 25 second loop on an animation I don't know if they can do that in the game or not, but that would be cool if you could So that is actually based off a League of Legends character. I don't play League of Legends If you also don't play League of Legends, I, I did a Google for you uh, That's I think that's like the art. That's not the in-game League art of course But that's the art for like the concept of the skin uh, from League. It's actually a Louis Vuitton crossover with League of Legends. Jesus. I don't want to know how many riot points that would cost, but uh, yeah, cool stuff there. I don't even know if they still use riot points for their microtransactions in League. I haven't played them forever. Last time I logged in, they didn't have uh, IP anymore. I don't know how you unlock characters or anything, but anyway. Um, volleyball uh, is sort of swimsuit also. So this is actually sick for Volleyball Master. And uh, yeah, I, I would think, it, I don't know if it'd be CC. The default color is the purple, pretty good. I'm on like purple kick right now. I'm really digging purple, but uh, it was cool. But this would also work very well for CC if that is something they wanted to do. Hairstyle stick with the sunglasses and all that. Very summery, very good. Show this last week, uh, but I got a little update from Johan here. Uh, the headband for male and female, you see the male one on the top left, female one there uh, with the hairstyle and stuff. This looks really sick. I, I like this quite a bit. Uh, the hair, the new headband added. I'm still not too big of a fan of the the overdone like life suit thing with the, you got floaties and a life jacket. A little overboard, but I guess it's supposed to be overboard for comedy's sake. And uh, yeah, the mask does look cool. The female version of the mask there. Yeah, so it's, it's a well made well made set so far. Might have shown this in a previous video swimwear, but uh, the transparent one I'm pretty sure is new, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's another good uh, idea for a swimsuit outfit for AQ. I'm seeing a lot of summer stuff and I'm liking it. Pretty good summer shop this year, hopefully. I'm going to try to pronounce this. Uh, Katipaneros or something like that. Uh, and the Philippine Revolutionary Army outfits. That's what this is inspired by. 
uh, from Pinwheel here. So yeah, it actually looks pretty pretty cool. I like the hat quite a bit there with the sun on it, the brim like that. That looks pretty cool. Some more traditional garbs from the Philippines here from Pinwheel. Nice to see. Really digging the necklace on the female one there. Very nice. Then with a like finished sub maxed out finished version of this. I know we've seen this quite a bit, but yeah, look, looking like it's done. Uh, Hakari in the comments actually said that I see gradients and apparently it lags the game too much if you have gradients. That won't be a thing in AQ Mobile 2D, the new version. I don't think, I don't think, I have gradients lagging a game. That has to be a flash player thing, it's gotta be. But uh, that's an inter interesting little insight. I, I didn't know. I thought the non gradient thing was more of an art style choice, but it kind of does make sense if you think of like all the flash games you see, they don't really have gradients in any of them. Interesting. Speaking of no gradients, uh, Kataro here with a commission, very nice, uh, the Bloodshed Monk, uh, kind of a, looks like Legion blood, is there, is there, I think there is blood in other AQ armors, I think there might be a scientist armor that has blood on it, but it might be brown, so it's more like mud, it could be like implied that's blood, but I don't know if, it, I don't know if that's ever been done on an armor before, not too sure, if they actually put in the game that it might have to be removed if they are deciding to do that, but, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't see a female version of this yet. I don't know if that's being made, but nice from what I see. Some diabolical gear from Antism, which is Hikari's faction. Uh, the diabolical guys, those, yeah. So the the hand with the, under the book looks very creepy to me. I don't know. Doing hands in AQ always look very weird. And the mask looks like it's very compressed on your face. Looks like it's very like squished, right? Anyway, uh, yeah. other than that, the wing cape looks... Very nice. Is that actually like a steam animation or whatever that's supposed to be coming off the wing? That'd be sick. Also a teaser for Mantism, also for an armor of some sort. So I have to wait to see what that will look like, but from the shape, looking kind of similar to the last one. Sefi with the naval commander that got reposted. So I might put this in last week's video, so I'll be quick about it, but the female version does look good. Although I think it's lacking uh, uh, pants. <laughs> the male version has pants female one barely uh, not uh, not really i yeah i don't know how i feel about that I, if if it was me maybe i would have put pants on it maybe uh zine x here with a very cool idea for is uh an outfit now i do like everything about this except for one little thing i think the um what do we call it like the makeup the stars on it on the face and on like the collar there if you turn the opacity down like 20% maybe I don't know I don't know how you'd do that if it's already like drawn on you couldn't modify it at all or whatever but I think it would look a lot better either without or with it turned down I think it is a little bit much I really like the hair with the uh, the style in it and the outfit looks great I like everything about the outfit looks really good although it's kind of a little little blurry but I think that's part of the style and it does look all right. So yeah, I think this is a very good outfit. I think the makeup's a little bit too much, but yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And I think that's great. Speaking of great, uh, color custom, this sword, that is, which is amazing. Amazing sword would get 100%. It being color custom is just a huge cherry on top. That looks really nice. A dwarf warrior revamp from Gebel Bark. Now that is one mean looking dwarf. We haven't really had dwarf content since the original release of, of the forest there. So maybe a dwarf release in the future wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Really cool outfit from Lucas here. The, uh, the glowing tattoos and all that. I really like the scarf or whatever you call that around the uh, bottom half of the face and the neck there. It's really cool if that was a... I, I don't think you could make that a helmet. I don't know where that would go armor. It'd probably be part of the armor, I think. But uh, yeah, that's really, really neat. So, Gabriel Arts with a cool chaos axe there. So, yeah, if you want to ask anyone... A okay, we're not doing... Much. All these puns pop in my head because I've been around them for so long. Anyway, uh, cool, cool axe. But that looks really creepy to hold also. So they've been doing art fixes recently, which are, are nice. I like to see, and I hope we see more. Maybe the arm on the one armor, that could get fixed. That would be cool. It's kind of a small thing, but uh, would be nice to see. 
Uh, so this uh, Dream uh, Eater armor, it had a thing where the skin color wasn't working properly. Like if you had the normal skin color wouldn't apply to it. So that got fixed. So if you have this armor in your bank or whatever, it is now fixed. Uh, Alina fixed it up with the help of other staff. So yeah, good stuff there. Furrow's birthday is tomorrow or maybe today, if, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, it's on Friday this week. So yeah, happy birthday Furrow early if you're watching this. And uh, you can get a rare color custom armor that Furrow made in the game right now. It's available right now. So the instructions are on screen, of course, color custom and all of that. It is a kind of a, it is, I'm a little disturbed by the hair on like the gold uh, furrow. It, it's, or furrow, yeah, it's just a little, it's a little disturbing, a little bit, but uh, I'll be picking up definitely. Furrow also teasing a time and then a lizard, a time dragon maybe, maybe the lizard means dragon. But you can see like a cog on the arm there, kind of wrapping around the arm. So, not sure what that's for, but we'll have to wait and see. And that, it looks like kind of like a paper boy hat, like a new, like, you know? Mother's Day bouquet available till the 31st. So, go pick up a guardian tree if you haven't got it yet. It's a rare item. I'm pretty sure it's rare. So, make sure you go grab that. Uh, and if it's not rare, it still looks cool. A uh, new daily gift, the Techno Reaver Dune. This one actually looks really sick. It looks better in game than it does on the image on Twitter, actually. So, yeah, go check that out. And the Matrix armor, the Matrix uh, helmet you see there is also available. I think the armor probably drops off the same, yeah, at the same place. So, go and get that. That'll also be rare on the 31st. A massive thanks to all of the channel members for supporting the channel, keeping uh these kind of videos going i really appreciate that and i appreciate the support this is the armor i was talking about with the broken arm by the way earlier i realized i was just gave that with no context at all but uh yeah legion uh, vampire uh obsidian and i think all the versions there's a few different versions of it and i think there are other armors from the old olden days of aq with that all have broken arms so yeah, that would be a cool fix. Maybe it would be a universal thing. If they fix one of them, maybe it will just fix everything automatically. I don't know how that works, but it would be cool. Anyways, that's all from me. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment down below. Helps out the video. Tell me what your favorite thing is, what you're looking forward to. Ooh, hopefully we have some good summer gear. That's coming up very, very soon. June will be here soon. And I, actually, I don't think they do the summer stuff till July. I don't know when they do it. I can't remember, but either June or July. Maybe the end of June, middle of July. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. We'll be live with the new AQ content tomorrow. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.